I might be all wrong, but for my heart, you were a bad move. Ain't yes, yeah, like pain I'm attached to. I'm sick with no cure. This chapter left deep wounds. Ain't 12, 12, 12 on my back. Yeah, I know she won't be back, but I don't know how to act. Ain't hey, yeah, you want my love like a jacket. Today I'm gonna be teaching you some shit about lightning that you might know already. But you ain't heard me say the shit. Let's get into it. It's two parts to a lightning strike. The first strike hit the ground at like 200,000 miles a fucking hour. That'll burn the half your ass for sure. The second strike comes back up from the ground back to the sky at a thousand times that speed. But all this shit happens so fucking fast that you think it's one thing. I feel bad for everybody living in this city. But anyway, the typical lightning strike can reach temperatures above 50,000 degrees. That's five times fucking hotter than the surface of the sun. If it hits you, survival is minimal. If you think lightning don't strike the same place twice, don't get blued the fuck up. Lightning is most definitely known to strike the same tall, isolated structures more than one time. This is a tree that was struck by lightning. This could be you. Thunder is just the sound of the superheated air around a lightning bolt expanding at the speed of sound. When lightning makes the air clap her ass, that's what it sounds like. Lightning can be 200 miles fucking long. Don't fuck with nature, cuz. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all about one of the most powerful fucking bombs ever made in human history. This is the Tsar Bomba, bitch. You feel me? You ever heard of the bombs they dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki? That's them down there in the red. But this big blue motherfucker, this is the one we talking about right here. The mushroom cloud on that motherfucker was eight times the height of Mount Everest. The death went 40 miles up in the air. The force generator was the equivalent of 116 billion pounds of TNT. It blew out windows in two countries nearby ground zero and ground zero is where that bitch blew up at this bomb is different than the other ones because it's a hydrogen bomb if y'all want me to describe how this bitch work in another video put a goat in the comments anyway if you drop this motherfucker on new york city how much damage are we looking at i mean it's just everyone in manhattan would instantly be vaporized people living in brooklyn staten island and the surrounding areas vaporized Death is damn near assured if you 63 miles or closer to that motherfucker. The only thing that would be left of anybody within New York City, Manhattan, and the surrounding areas would be these shadows of human bodies vaporized onto the concrete. Which is unfortunately what the fuck happens to people that close. This bomb was invented and tested by Russia on October the 30th, 1961. And that's one of the world's most powerful bombs and what the fuck would happen if that bitch hit New York. Man, y'all hit the plus up there and follow me. That bitch right there. Come on. <laughs> Today I'm going to be teaching you five facts about the ocean that you probably didn't know. Really five reasons to stay the fuck out of here, but let's go. One, we only then explored 5% of the motherfucker. You probably know that, whatever, but no, think about that. 75% of this bitch is water, but we didn't only went in 5%. You are already the victim. But yeah, number two is deep as fuck. Like, nah, it's really deep as fuck in some parts. Up to a seven mile depth. And the temperature is around one to four degrees Celsius. You are cold. Number three, the creatures. Take a look at this shit. This is an anglerfish. The ocean is jet black. In your natural body condition, you can't see shit. And they live there. They can see and move perfectly fine this is a real crab come get touched by a giant jellyfish native to japan imagine you swimming in water like this with no lights and one of these come out of nowhere screaming and while you're trying to outrun that let's get into number four the average ocean pressure which is how strong the air pushes down on your body down there is about nine thousand fucking pounds on average but while you trying to outrun this the average ocean pressure is about sixteen thousand pounds per square inch go underwater in the dark put 11 elephants on top of your head and now get away from that motherfucker oh yeah the ocean heavy and number five it's 139 million square miles of this shit and you try to imagine the size for me and the place where these motherfuckers live it's 1500 miles of deep dark that shit mariana trench is 43 miles wide and 1500 miles long it's full of deadly shit like this that's it though y'all follow me if you fuck with it Today I'm finna tell you five facts and one TikTok. That's Michael Jackson. Number one, goddammit. Female kangaroos got three pussies. Number two, when wasps and shit like that get fucking drunk, they attack you. Keep them off that clear. Number three, cuh, your brain has about a billion neurons, and each neuron got about a thousand connections, giving the human brain a complete total of a trillion connections. And in these connections, thoughts are, bitch, thoughts are stored. The human brain got a million gigabytes of memory, which is like leaving the DVR on 
the TV running for 300 years, every day, all day. Number four, bitch. In the Middle Ages, the name Tiffany was hot shit. It was nothing for a bitch in the Middle Ages to be on her way to have snoo snoo with her brother of the quill. And number five, bitch. The average cloud weighs a million pounds. That's a gajillion drops of little bitty water, bitch. Don't be stupid. It's heavy. But anyway, cuz, that's five facts that you probably didn't know, man. Y'all follow me. Michael Jackson said, hey. Today I'm gonna be telling you five facts that you didn't fucking know. Number one, Walmart got a lower acceptance rate than fucking Harvard. Bitch, that mean it's easier to get into Harvard than it is to get on at Walmart. If you'd have never applied to Walmart, you knew that shit already. Number two, a football fan once dedicated his obituary to diss another team. In his obituary, there was a man that stated he wanted six Cleveland Brown fans to let his casket into the ground so that the Cleveland Browns could let him down one last fucking time. Number three, bitch. In 2015, a three year old was elected mayor of a Minnesota town. No fucking poopy language was his motto. Number four, the plastic tip on a fucking shoelace is called an aglet. Number five, the night before Neil deGrasse Tyson went on to be a math tutor, which would eventually lead him to being the person we know today. He was at a strip club and considered stripping to earn extra money. He became a math tutor shortly after that night. Thank God he didn't do this shit. Oh, and I got a bonus one for you. Heels were originally invented for men until the 18th century when women started wearing them bitches more than men did. Then society slowly forgot about that shit. Kids start growing up not never knowing that shit. And here we are today where heels are commonly known as a fucking woman's only shoe. But anyway, y'all, yeah, that's five facts that you probably didn't know. Y'all hit the plus and follow me. I'm at... <laughs> Today I'm going to be telling you how long you going to jail for, for PPP fraud. Because you know they finna send your ass off. Let's get into this. Bitch, for one to even qualify to get this motherfucker, you got to have 500 employees. Now, bitch, look me in the eye and tell me does Carmichael's Barbecue and Car Wash employ 500 motherfuckers? Oh, and a motherfucker probably thinking, oh, well, I did mine last year. Bitch, you still had to make 10 grand from your business. Now, bitch, tell me did Carlicia's Nails and Tacos make 10 Gs? I don't think it did. Open up. PPP fraud could and will will result in up to $5 million in fines and 10 years in the poking. Since motherfuckers wanted to play with the government numbers, now they gonna turn your ass into one, inmate 65. Oh, you don't like living in a cell? What's the PP problem? I can see if you bet your life on that 20 G's and really went out there and made a hundred. Then I guess it was fucking worth it. But a seafood boy? Bitch, I didn't know $20,000 worth of shrimp, trips, and fucking bud was worth 10 years. They might not come today. But them bitches definitely coming. And they coming when the fuck you least expect it. Y'all hit a 50 billion dollar lick on these motherfuckers. Now it's they turn. All I'm saying is if you did this shit thinking getting caught was impossible, you fucked yourself. But y'all follow me though. <laughs> Today I'm gonna be telling you why the fuck you going to jail for PPP fraud, part two. But the first reason is because you bitches lied on your application. Yeah, you right. I fucked up the last video, bitch. You ain't gotta have 500 employees. But what you do gotta have is some of that damn money being spent on your business. Y'all hit a lick on these people. A billion dollar lick. A 50 billion dollar lick. And you think these shaved motherfuckers ain't coming for you? I'm just saying cuz shit start looking real funny when it's like, hey man, we gave Sylvester's lawn mowing barbecue. 60k he ain't bought a fucking gardening tool yet or how about when we gave Kalisha's bundles and diapers 45k bitch ain't seen a baby in months hey welcome to prison this is called gin pop but the most important one of them all you bitches ain't even got a business you couldn't even start the motherfucker for fun what the fuck you think the feds gonna say oh that's 50 billion dollars that's too much for us to track down let them keep it boy if you don't get your ass in that cell truth be told you was fucked the minute you gave them people your social security number your name and a bank I swear that shit over with but y'all hit the plus right here and follow me uh -huh. Today I'm gonna be telling you five reasons why Dragon Ball Z can't fuck with Naruto. Number one, the storyline is ass. This right here, that bullshit that y'all be glorifying. Naruto got a real fucking story with a real fucking purpose. Number two, heartfelt moments. This damn monkey right here ain't never made nobody cry or be sad. Bitch, you ain't never got an emotional experience from Dragon Ball nothing. I promise you, when we thought Kakashi died, we was hurt. When motherfuckers had to watch Jiraiya die, bitch, we was crying. But shit, not DBZ though. They ain't gonna make you cry. They gonna yell with you. Number three, the fights ain't as good as y'all make them bitches sound. Bitch, they scream for two episodes. Somebody get active for a couple seconds. The shit be over. Now look at this hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
DBZ ain't giving you all that shit. It's just gonna be a bunch of lines and some screaming. Number four, character development. Bitch, this Naruto when he was a kid. Now look at Naruto as a grown person. He taller, he older, he got different fucking clothes on. Shit, now DBZ though, Goku been wearing this bullshit for 40 years. You know how often motherfuckers on DBZ get a new outfit they gonna wear longer than one episode? When you get a new character, bitch. Number five, cuz when you try to compare moments like this to monkey trash like this, doing a bunch of this shit is just garbage. Hell, you can't even miss a motherfucking DBZ. Everybody that died damn near come back. But anyway, y'all, them my reasons why DBZ is poo ass compared to Naruto. Y'all follow me, bruh. Today I'm finna tell you five fucking reasons why I can't stand relationships in 2021. Number one, being toxic, cool as fuck to you bitches. But that go for men and women. That shit so fucking stupid. I don't want nobody to treat me like shit, man. Why you ain't whooping my ass? Why you so nice to me? Like some of y'all, all fucked up. Number two, 50-50 is lame. What the fuck? If this bitch ain't even offering to help pay no bills, bitch, I can see if I told you, never mind. But this bitch is out here that really feel like I know we on the come up, but bitch, I still ain't supposed to touch a bill, never. And when we get rich, I bet not still never have to touch a bill. 50-50 is for future millionaires. Number three, everybody want love, but everybody want to be cold hearted. What y'all smoking? How the fuck you gonna want love, but you too scared to put that shit out there? I can't wait for somebody to come love me how I be loving people. But that's what they doing. You a piece of shit And that's all you gonna get until you change But you gotta stay that way no matter how motherfuckers treat you That's called being real Number four, bitch Expecting your partner to make you happy Bitch, before you got in a relationship You was already supposed to be happy inside Your boyfriend or girlfriend can't do shit but add on to that So if you ain't got shit for them to build on already You fucked Can't nobody make you happy but yourself And number five, bitch, this is my favorite Cheating on a motherfucker is called ups and downs Who the thought in 2021 you could go to the mall and slip fall on a dick and just like it, it was an accident and people gonna believe it oh and i got a bonus one for you i know we in a committed relationship right now but if i had a million dollars i couldn't buy you no car shit because we ain't married why the fuck you act like the next day you wake up after your wedding you just love a motherfucker extra that's like saying we can't fuck now we can fuck when we get married bitch if you not giving that man nothing today you damn sure ain't gonna give it to him then what type of fucking shit is this y'all follow me though Today I'm gonna be telling you five things parents need to fucking know. Number one, bitch, you don't get no cool points for this shit. You supposed to do this. I don't give a fuck what you think. You brought me here, you supposed to do this. You don't get no fucking respect for showing up to the front line. Cause that's what the fuck you signed up for. You should've aborted me, bitch. I don't owe you shit for taking care of me. Now if I won't give you something that's different. Number two, bitch, if you didn't ask me how the fuck I feel, you don't know. I know how you feel just by looking at you. I had you. All right, Houdini, you better get the fuck out of my face, man. Number three, I think this the winner. Bitch, sometimes your best ain't a fuck enough. Man, I'm so sick of hearing all that fucking, man. I did the best I could. Bitch, if you showed up to a race with a hundred people and came in fucking last and that was the best you could, I don't give a damn, you're lost. They're going to be like, congratulations, you can come back next year. You ain't finna get no fucking appreciation token. It's the real world. You grown, goddammit. Bitch number four. Communication is fucking key, man. I know you don't know how to talk to motherfuckers. Learn it. You so goddamn grown and wise. Fucking learn it. Bitch, me and you both know you know how to beat the fuck out of a motherfucker and get to the bottom of something. You a master at hitting a motherfucker. Now how about you master talking to a motherfucker? And it's gonna be hard. When the first ass whooping didn't work, you didn't give up. You kept applying them bitches. So when the first conversation don't work, don't fucking quit. Learn how to talk, damn it. And number five, hey, what the fuck so make you think you gon' to talk to me like a motherfucker in the street? And then continue to talk to your child as if they're the one that's disrespectful. Your only source of communication is fucked up ass language. And when the fuck is a response to any type of shit like that ever? Peace, love, and all respect.